Excessive Approximation Model, otherwise known as SAM, was designed by education pioneer Michael Allen. This instructional design model is commonly used by teachers who implement project-based learning. With projects ranging from big to small, SAM provides two models, SAM 1 and SAM 2. SAM 1 is a simple yet effective model for simple small projects. The three steps in SAM 1 are evaluation slash analysis, design, and finally development. This cyclical design ensures that students are consistently repeating all three steps throughout the project. No one step is more important than the other, which ultimately creates a more efficient and effective end product for students. SAM 2 is a slightly larger, yet just as effective model, which is designed for big, complex projects. Students begin with the preparation phase. This is where a large amount of the brainstorming and background research happens. Team members may also discuss their roles for the project during this phase. The biggest difference in SAM 1 and SAM 2 is that SAM 2 implements something known as the iterative design. After the preparation phase, students begin the iterative process. There are two parts to this process, the iterative design phase and the iterative development phase. Think of the iterative design phase as the rough draft. Students are working on a prototype. When the creators of Super Mario built the first game, they didn't build the entire game at first, they built a prototype level to work out the mechanics of the game first. Same idea. Following the iterative design model comes the iterative development phase. This is where the components from the early planning stages and the prototypes and all of the other work come together to create a final project. Again, this cyclical process ensures that students are constantly designing, reviewing, testing, editing always looking to improve their final project throughout the design and development phases. For my own classroom, which consistently features computer-based project learning, SAM is an easy choice. Whether we are designing video games or designing 3D houses, students are constantly collaborating, working independently, designing, testing, and editing projects. No matter if I am employing SAM 1 or SAM 2, both are effective in helping me raise the bar, promote quality work, critical thinking, and problem solving skills, all of which are crucial for our students to have success in the 21st century. In a study completed by Dr. John W. Thomas in 2000, Mr. Thomas found that there was ample evidence to suggest that project-based learning is an effective method for, and I quote, complex processes and procedures such as planning, communicating, problem solving, and decision making, end quote. As a teacher, of course I believe in the value of computers. When I was a social studies teacher, I believed in the value of social studies. Ultimately though, what project-based learning and SAM promote are these characteristics of planning, communicating, problem solving, and decision making. This is why I believe that SAM and project-based learning are effective instructional models, regardless of content. Imagine what we could do if every content area incorporated these types of forward-thinking 21st century models.